I am Colonel Manu Lawaki Smith Davis. I am part of the 143rd ESC. I am part of the uh, Polynesian culture, which is uh, specifically the Tongan culture. Uh, born in uh, born in the island of Tonga, uh, our culture is uh, the island uh, very much similar to the islands of uh, Hawaii and Samoa, uh, but we are another part of that Polynesian culture in the United uh, in, in the Pacific Islands. Uh, we're close to the um, New Zealand Australian region. We've got 179 copulations of islands that make up the Kingdom of Tonga. Um, and we are in a monarchy uh, within that within the uh, the Polynesian state. So we have a king and a queen, princesses and prince uh, within our culture. Absolutely. I think the best way to tell my story is through my name. Um, so I was born uh, to my parents who are both uh, full-blooded Tongan, uh, uh, Nonu and Sione Lawaki. Uh, so I was born into this world as Manu Lawaki. Uh, however, at the age of six, I was adopted. Uh, my parents, who are white, uh, was uh, lived in American Samoa, where my parents, my biological parents, had moved there. They worked for the, my parents, my adopted parents, as uh, worked around the house for them. Um, and when they were getting ready to leave, they they uh, they asked to adopt me. Um, so I would I. Of course, they agreed to it, and then I became adopted and naturalized a U.S. citizen at the age of six. And there I became Manu Lawaki Smith. Manu Lawaki Smith first entered to the United States Army um, as an Army Reservist to help me pay for my way through school. And then, uh, of course, I then got married to um, Mr. Davis, Samari Davis, who then how I became Manu Lawaki Smith Davis. And then my career has flourished. I've been extremely blessed to be part of this organization from the culture that I first came to in this world to where I am today. I'm completely blessed with what the military service has given me and my family. So there's a, the, there, the thing about being um, a different culture than what is typically known in the American society. Um, we bring so much, we bring so much more. Every culture brings a lot to the table. And being a part of uh, the, my Tongan uh, organ, my Tongan family, um, I encourage those that doesn't have the opportunities or given the opportunities um, in other means and other ve venues, college, because they don't have enough money or they, they feel like that they don't have the, the education or they're not smart enough. Uh, I, I say the military gives you all of those opportunities to build that foundation. Um, so no matter what culture, what part of what culture you come from the army the united states army that get, they give you that opportunity to be successful on your own two feet with the values you bring and integrate it with the the army values so i think that you know for me i'm always encouraging for those um of different cultures, of different uh, different way of living, different thought process. This is an organization that allows you to flourish in those or uh, flourish in those um, differences, right? And I think that our military organization has allowed that to happen with recognizing specifically, obviously, for the Asian Pacific Islander Month. This is a month that they recognize that we that we can bring good to the to the army. Well, I encourage those that are not even. Asian Pacific Islanders or different type of culture, the military gives you that opportunity and recognizes that diversity makes our organization much better. I am Colonel Manu Lawaki Smith Davis. I celebrate Asian Pacific Islander Month.